Who do we have here? We have Jordan Lynn. Hi, all. <laughs> what a pleasant thought that is. <laughs> you look right into that camera there and smile. One of the one of the reasons that, that, that the, this young lady is up here with us, uh, if you look right on that newspaper right in front of you, pole dancers soon might go for the gold is the headline here in the Las Vegas. She can lean forward. That's I'm 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 perfectly fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can lean forward to that. Well, that not no, <laughs> you've just <laughs> poor baby. I think I've got you beat. Um, <laughs> um, there, there's a, there is a move. <laughs> just one of them. Sorry. Oh, oh hey, I'm minute. here. I'm here. There's a lady present. <laughs> there is a yes, move is. to have pole dancing become part of the Olympics. They really, it really is gaining some steam. True story. True, True story. That's right what, there. That's what it's about. They're 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 petitioning. They're going about it the right way because of the athleticism that takes uh, to be a pole dancer. They're saying it's certainly equal to some of the other events sure. that we see in the Olympics. And you agree with popular that? Than the I would agree, grammar. and I would think that there should be certain moves that need to be obtained and strength. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things. They should have like five set moves that you'd have to pose as yeah. and to make to qualify. And then, yeah, if you have the strength and the stamina, there's some uh, girls that could really blow it away. It was really funny because one of the first times when we were doing the beta for this, there were, uh, a, a bunch of girls were down there on all of the poles because there's nobody else here. And it was like a clinic. Yes, it was. We were just having fun with it, practicing, yeah. trying. Yeah. But it's cool how y'all share. You show each other different different mm -hmm. moves and how do you do this? But and it was. How do you do that? Yeah, yeah. Because two of them were uh, brand new. Mm -hmm. But one of them was explaining to me that it does take a lot of muscle. Oh, a lot, especially to lift yourself up from behind. I mean, you're using every muscle, stomach. Right. Some of the upside down things I can do differently. I don't know what strength I would be using separately, but there's. Like I said, just different girls can master different moves. Oh my but God. so many women across the nation just look at that like, wow, I really wish I could do that. Like well, they, they pole really dream. Pole dancing are very popular, mm -hmm. and it's a way a hell of a lot better in aerobics. Mm -hmm. or right. Yoga and or and or it's whatever. their little outlet to be sexy and have fun for a second right. because it's a pole. It's that Work, stigma. Works for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing it? Dancing? Since yes. 06. So six years. Off and on. Uh, off and on, not not straight professional. Were you on jobs, but toddlers and tiaras or no? <laughs> no, okay. no. I did Miss Hawaiian okay. Tropic um, in Michigan. That. I've done Miss Motor City Harley Davidson in Detroit as well. And you're um, a Detroit girl. I am. Are you really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. When did you start doing? Dancing? Yes. Um, I was this form of dancing. Twenty six. Really. I'm Thirty one now, giving away my age. No one will ever know unless you tell them. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. Jordan, wait a minute. What, what did what you do? You, what was the most difficult thing to do athletically when you started? You were not, I mean, did you work out a lot before? I was always ath athletic in high school, played sports. Um, what did you play? I've had a lot of, of volleyball, track, and basketball. Uh -huh. Wow. And softball after um, high school and into college. I've always been strong. I've always been able to do pull-ups, lift myself up. You know, people are always like, wow, you can, you can do breakdancing moves or just little things. But the hardest thing is to pull yourself up forward, like from behind. Yeah. So that, that's, I'm still trying to master that. Does, is it more difficult on your back? Because that takes, that takes some back strength to, you, do, to do that. You shouldn't use your back. You should try to use your stomach muscles. You'll pull your back out. I've got those. <laughs> <laughs> you just, know Sky. Sky dances here. She's oh, amazing. Absolutely. She was trying to work with me on that, and only with her there that day I could do it. She's she is spotting uh, me. She is one of the most athletic individuals you could ever. You just can't imagine somebody can do that. She's a rough, tough <laughs> bitch. I'm looking. I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking where are the wires attached to her to see her do that? Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's a technical term. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like she's a puppet. Like people are actually <laughs> operating her. It's pretty crazy. What did you do before you, you did this? Before dancing? Right. I actually have an education from Central Michigan University. I've been a food service manager. I've been a substitute teacher. I have been a waitress. Those lucky kids. I know. <laughs> um, I've done Imagine marketing. poisoning the, the real teacher. <laughs> and I've worked Ms. In Albertson! Ms. Albertson! <laughs> that was the, the cool part about it. I'd be subbing for kids on a Friday day and then going to work that night, and it's like, wow, night wow. and day, you know? And um, I've worked in the tobacco tobacco industry, <laughs> you know, professionally. <laughs> not to change the subject, mm -hmm. but back to that. <laughs> dealing as a teacher with people and dealing with the people that you deal with uh, as a dancer. Which there's one? Got, there's got to be some similarities there. There's some there. similarities, <laughs> some psychological similarities, <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Well, Kids and drunks. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jordan Lynn, one of, one of our favorites here at uh, Vegas Strip Radio, but also uh, here at Larry Flint's Hustler Club. And uh, uh, it's an amazing thing. You can come in, and this young lady will, will sit with you. If you'd like a dance from her, or you want to watch her do the pole tricks, you know, come for on $20. For $20.
dollars, you can get a lap dance from any of the young ladies that work here. Mm -hmm. Yep, and spend some time with us. We're, yeah, not, we're not so bad. No, and and, and, and you're you're right. Oh, you don't just get the lap dance. You actually have a conversation with the yeah. with the young lady and. Uh, and uh, we're, we're, we're happy that you came up with this today, Jordan Lynn. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. You, now you got to go back down there and dance. Go make those 20s. Uh, go make those 20s. Thank you very much. <laughs> <to another. laughs>